a jury will decide the fate of a man convicted for killing a Clinton police officer. The jury found Ian McCarthy guilty of first degree murder yesterday afternoon and prosecutors are now pursuing the death penalty in this case. KBC 9's Matt Evans is getting answers on the next steps. This case was moved from Henry County to Jackson County and a jury selected from Platt County so Ian McCarthy could get a fair trial. Well, that jury found Ian McCarthy guilty of first degree murder yesterday afternoon after Clinton police officer Gary Michael pulled him over in 2017 for driving without headlights at night and McCarthy opened fire with a rifle and killed officer Michael shortly after he was pulled over. This case has been delayed by many motions and by the COVID-19 pandemic and is now coming to an end at nearly six years after officer Michael died. We talked to former Henry County prosecutor Richard Shields, who left office last year and prosecuted this case for five and a half years. And he said it was clear very early on in this case that prosecutors should seek the death penalty. Because a police officer was killed in the line of duty, that is one of the aggravating circumstances. So uh, ultimately, the, the decision uh, was really not that difficult to make. The death penalty phase of this trial began this morning here at the Eastern Jackson County Courthouse in Independence with jurors hearing emotional testimony from Clinton police officers and the family of Officer Gary Michael, who talked about the impact his life and his death had on them. Prosecutors wrapped up their witness calling earlier today. The defense began calling witnesses this afternoon. We are expecting a verdict in this death penalty part of the trial sometime on Thursday or on Friday. In Independence, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. If he is given the death penalty, McCarthy would be the first person put to death in Henry County since lethal injections first started in Missouri in 1987.